Hello everyone, welcome back to the Shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. And we wanted to do something a little different today. We want to have fun. Not that pulling orders isn't fun, because pulling orders is a blast. Packing, ooh, I love it. Love it. And listing. Do I have food on my face? Uh, no. <laughs> you don't. You don't. Uh, but yeah, we, after we, we went and ate lunch with Guy, which is kind of a new, a thing we've been doing. Um, uh, like every couple of weeks we'll go eat with, eat with our guy lunch at a different place. It's been fun. It, like it's enjoyable. So it's not just business every single time. So I think it's good. We are, Guy is like, like our absolute best source of inventory, of course, but we're also friends. Yeah, like, it's become a friendship. Yeah, no, we're definitely, no, it's, it's, mm -hmm. we've been, me and Guy have gotten along from the start. So we're, we are good friends too. Um, but then we have business. So it's good to meet him. It's good to meet with him sometimes where we're not making a transaction of some sort or making a deal of some sort. It's way more, you know, low key and you know, it's good. So that's been nice. Um, we did swing by his storage. We still have some stuff there. We're, we're making a big dent in it though. Yeah. There ain't near, there's not near as much as there used to be. And, uh, we grabbed some stuff out and we thought we'd just go through it with y'all and, share it there's all kind of weird wacky stuff here and valuable stuff and not valuable stuff and just a cool assortment so uh let's take a look these are posters from like 1995-96 but they're from little caesars and they're large i don't know are they paper that's regular paper right feels like it yeah Looks like we have a frame for them to go in here. So we have Barry Sanders and Clyde Drexler. Yeah, that's a good one. Thurman Thomas. Yep. John Elway. Yep. And Herschel. Herschel Walker. Walker. Yeah, these are good. Yep. These are really good. I, I'm probably gonna have to uh, take them out. And I think you can find stock photos. I don't know. See the these. The problem is if you don't take them out, it could have like fading yeah but these are brand new in the package but they're little caesar enterprises so these are probably sent out to the stores to hang in the in the retail locations yeah, so this looks like a display thing they sent right you know, i'm thinking i can just use this to kind of help display these posters mm -hmm. uh, actually this might be great for displaying any poster huh yeah maybe we hang on to this and yep yeah, this might be good. Just okay. Two little hooks up there, like you have that one. Put another one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that would be good. So yeah, uh, don't know. I haven't. We haven't looked them up yet or anything. But they look like these. Look like these are probably gigantic posters too. Yeah, they're really thick in there. They look like they're big. Yep. So that's the first thing. Uh, we have some cereal. <laughs> From two thousand three, some cereal. <clears throat> um, it's got two bobbleheads in it. Yeah, All Star bobblehead dual pack. So we're gonna have to think about whether we wanna just sell the cereal boxes as is. So people hope they might get the special bobblehead. Although I think we need to look up like what are is the there, bobbleheads. Is there a special bobblehead? Is there a market, right. If there's like really special ones, we need. I think we need to open it. Yeah. If not, we gotta let the buyer. No, no, if there are really special ones, then we don't need to open it. Then it has more value. Because if there are really special ones, then our unopened boxes become more valuable at that point. Because it's the what if. If they're all the same price, it won't hurt to open it. But does the collector want a box of cereal from 2000? This is the only way to know that it hadn't been opened, though. So I don't know. This is this is a new one for me. I've never had, like... when it, How old is this cereal? 2003. Damn, this is almost 20 year old cereal. <laughs> Dare you to eat it. It's probably, although all the preservatives in this I'm crap. I'm sure it's fine. It's probably okay. <laughs> Might be a little stale. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Um, some holograph Spider Man 30th anniversary cards. Okay. Are these like inserts? No. Yeah, P10. Yeah, they are. I think they are inserts. Where do you see that at? Uh, like right here, P11 and in, in right. man. So, okay. you know what? We'll we, like, we haven't looked when we're showing y'all this stuff. 
it's very easy to look this stuff up and if y'all are interested in this stuff i encourage you to look it up see for yourself but we don't know what the prices of any of this are we haven't looked it up uh seal of blu-ray and dvd oh that's interesting Yep. It's a cartoon, huh? The Padawan Menace. It's a Lego movie, I think. Oh, okay. I've never heard of that. Cool. That'll be a nice, easy lister. You need to do that today. <laughs> All right. Some new old stock of... Look. Look at the box is the coolest part. I know. I love the box. Somebody... You could... Oh, do you sell the box separate? Nah. I mean, can you imagine somebody has their vintage stuff and it's just sitting on the shelf with it you well, know this is it right here hildebrand's weedless i don't know how old these are i wonder what happened to my dad's remember he had all the old fishing lures on the wall i'm imagine my brother took them yeah. i forgot about those till just now your parents have a lot of cool old stuff I'm yeah sure. mom's ready to start liquidating it too okay oh, that's gonna be awkward for us That's going to be difficult. All right. Oh. This is a box of magnets. <laughs> yeah, these are all like refrigerator magnets. Yeah. PlayStation. This, they're cool. What is that? PlayStation. Game Day 2000. Oh, that's an actual uh, little pin back thing, quarterback club. Oh, there is some pins in here too. Okay. Look. Oh, the, Disney? No. Sorry, that's like Washington, D.C. That's cool. These are cool. I love little stuff like this. Mm -hmm. This is fun. We're going to make some good lots out of this. Here's a little bottle opener, Virgin Islands. Mm -hmm. These are cool. Fun stuff. One thing we don't like, Ocho Rios, one thing we don't like about our uh, camper is the refrigerator is not magnetized. Yeah, we... Like, it's not metal. We wanted to, like, start a magnet collection, get one from everywhere we go. The refrigerator is freaking plastic. There's almost, there's almost nothing magnetic in the whole camper. Look, who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Play it. Yeah, okay, this is interesting. so that's fun. Yeah, it is. The, Car the Caribbean. Look, uh, Alabama, Space Dolphin and Rock. Island. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice thing right there. Yeah. Look, here's uh, Alabama Space and Rocket Center, Huntsville. Cocoa Key, Bahamas. Tampa Bay, look. Look at it, look at it. What is this? Rubber. I know, but what do you do with it? It probably had magnets on it at one time. Yeah. Uh, this guy is cute. It's like a hand painted. Is that a manatee? Yeah. Birch Aquarium at Scripps. This is fun. Yep. I mean, I, I could go through this stuff. I, you know what I think we ought to do with this box? What? One lot. Everything in that box. That's everything a, goes. Everything. We're gonna. We're just gonna do that. That'll be fun. Okay. And fun and easy, and I'll make a video too. With yep. It. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's do some more. Well, this wasn't a frame, was it? I know the frame broke. Oh. I threw all the glass away. Uh, this is to what did I say? Randy, Andy, Randy, yeah, Andy. Andy, best wishes, Mike Ditka. So we just need to find somebody named Andy that likes Mike Ditka during the New Orleans Saints era. And uh, yeah, we can sell that to him. Then this is a Florida State football from 1997, bunch of autos. Bobby did Bowden. Did you see the coach? Did anybody good play there? Well, heck, heck yeah, man. I mean, people always, they always had good players. I have some cousins that are, uh, or I know at least one cousin's a big Seminole fan, lives in Florida. Pop Saunders, number four. All right, we have a little box of treasure here. What little is it? A little box of horrors. Oh, doll stands. <laughs> okay, doll stands. Next. <laughs> I saw the lid to this box. I think we left it behind. Oh, no. oh. This is uh, different wax packs in here. There's random old wax packs. Wanted posters. I can feel it has the gum in them. Yeah. What else we got in here? Body shop. Look, this is five cents. 
groovy iron-ons. Crazy magazine covers. Autos of 1977. That's actually cool. Extra foil sticker in each pack. That's cool. Somebody might want this. I hope so. Kojak. Maybe not so much. Dumb dabs? What? Navy tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do the tattoos so much anymore, do they? They do. They're just not as good. Yeah. Slap, sti slap stickers. Is that Bob Hope? Stick on Hollywood slap stickers. Look. Old, old Vegas uh, matchbook covers. Uh, that's cool. Frontier. Circus, circus. Okay. Yeah, that's some interesting stuff. That autos of 1977 might be uh, kind of neat. Well, you know, we find more bowling stuff. Like, even in the wild or for my guy or wherever, there's bowling stuff everywhere. 500 Club, 235. Ooh, champion. Champion. GBWBA. Must be the Women's Bowling Association, maybe? Finest quality. What does that mean? 200 Club. Must be like a 200 average or something. 200 Club. Got these cool little pin backs in here and stuff. These are cool. I'll just make a lot out of this. Yeah, good little bowling lot. Yeah, 200 Club. Oh, I was guessing that was going to be 10 karat like Look gold. 500 Club. Yeah, uh, that must be over two games, huh? Or three games, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. So, yeah, that's a fun little lot, too. Got a baseball. Um, Russ Snyder. Mickey Mantle. Max something? Does that say Babe Ruth? Yep, sure does. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I don't, think, I don't really think. Jose Vidal? Jim Hall? Do y'all know these people? I don't. Shout out if you uh, see an autograph you know. Yeah, let me do a yeah, make sure it's in in focus. This is gonna be an auction item. Wonder how long it's been in this uh, tomato can. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it in the old. We'll, we might. Sell it with the tomato can it came in. What is that? It's a it's a funny car, Drexter. Oh, that's uh Stone Cold, Steve Austin. He's hanging on to Santa Claus falling he's, out the back. Santa Claus diving out the back, or he's holding him down. It's a reindeer. I don't know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Santa Claus. So Santa Claus, a funny car, and Steve Austin walk into a bar. Yeah, is this a custom or did it come like this? I'm pretty, yeah, I'm sure it probably came like this, but man, that is weird. I bet there ain't too many of those out there. I could be wrong. Is that wipe and go? Okay. What you got? Uh, oh, we already had one oh. of these. No. No, we just didn't bring them home yet. Okay. Those are gold coins. 23 karat gold. But I mean, supposedly, is it is it a coin or is it just real thin gold? It's like a, it's like a foil. Yeah, that's not a coin. That's weird. Look, is it on backed by paper? Yeah, look, it has paper on the back even, so it's super, super, super thin. It is signed. But yeah, okay, we saw this before. On Matchbox car, Y fourteen Lesney. So that's a little made in England car. Uh, that's a Walmart 10 year pin. Okay. Don't know what the heck that is. That's Alf. Oh, that's Alf. Oh my God. All right. 
Another autograph. Is that another baseball? Yep. Juan Marichalo. Oh, here you go. Oh, ring sizer. Okay, good. Perfect. Because we have something we need to use that with. Nelson Fox. Ernie Banks. Okay, those... Those look like stamps or something almost. Look, see the Ernie Banks signature? Hmm. World Series Special. Official Gillette League. Hmm. Yeah, that that is not a live signature, obviously. Some the other ones those aren't either. These are all like printed signatures. Okay, I see now. It's still a kind of a neat ball. I'll put it in here with this other one. Okay. Half of this pack is nasty, another half is good cards. What do you mean by nasty? Like naked women. Oh, that's not nasty. I got Tracy Lords here, you wanna see? Yeah. Oh, she's not naked. Yeah, it's not naked. No, nothing wrong with that. Britt Morgan is. Let me see. <laughs> Why is she pushing an oxygen tank around? <laughs> okay. A bolt. I just cracked. Is that the big gym boat? Well, that's a cheapo boat. I know, it's so cheap plastic. Some more of these marble cards. This is some, uh, Greg Jeffrey. Phillies. This? New York. I love New York. Lego. This is interesting, Candace. Look. I love New York. Is it playing cards? I don't know. It's so weird. Lego. What is this? I think there's probably something you can build in here. Okay, that's a eight eight five zero oh, seven seven zero. Oh, that's probably a set number. It feels like cards. I know it does. I don't know what that is. Southern Pacific pins. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So when if you get this bag, there's a little pin loose in there. Okay. Seeing old Moon Patrol. Uh, These look like old parachuters. Yeah. Ooh, those look those look pretty old. Yeah. Look, there's a date. Walt Disney Productions, Hong Kong. Cool, though. The Disney stuff, all the Disney stuff we've ever found is not ever worth much. No. This is like die cast. Hmm? It's probably a lighter. Yeah, it's a lighter. See, look. Hmm. Trying to light. This seems very modern. Yeah. Like a Russian hand grenade. So got a little Hot Wheels space vehicle. Yeah, those are pretty common. I can't remember the name that of it. ATV. This is the last thing in that box. There's a couple of small stuff. Oops. It's coming apart. This is a Big Jim sports camper. Look at this sucker. Look. Uh, it comes with a fire. Look. I know. These are the little camping chairs. Ah. Fishing pole. Ah, that's cool. Yep. There's another oar down in here. That's pretty so neat. So that boat does go with this. Ah. Well, that sucks because it's kind of cracked. Yeah. This, none of this is in like perfect condition anyways. Mm -hmm. Big Jim Sports Camper. I bet it's very uncommon to have all the little accessories there. Well, a lot of the big gym stuff is pretty valuable, so this probably is too, I'd imagine. What is that? Key to the city. Of what? Baton Rouge. Ah. I had one of those. The you did? The governor gave me. You serious? Yeah. For what? I was little Miss Baton Rouge. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Pageant scene. Oh, this is cool. It's a McDonald's ring. Yes. It's like a class ring from McDonald's. It's stainless steel. I already looked in the inside. Yeah. But look, it's got the M. I, I think that might have some value. Let me look that up. Okay, I just looked this ring up, and uh, there were a few solds. And it looks like it's worth about $45 to $50, something like that. So I'm happy with that. That's a lot of money for that little thing. Let's do another box. 
Ooh, this is a mishmash. I have no idea what's in here. Okay, that's mishmash of parts. May or may not be valuable. That looks like almost like Masters of the Universe yeah, stuff big, there. Big Jim Fire. Is it? Yeah. Is it the same thing? Yeah. This is a box of Big Jim stuff. Look. Ooh. Well, you know what? I guarantee you that's valuable. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Because the Big Jim stuff is, some of it's pretty pricey. Big Jim. I've never, we need to, okay, that's some die cast. Mm -hmm. I sold die cast cars. Probably not very valuable. All right, looks like a bunch more pieces and parts and. Cowboy hat. Yeah. Else Happy Meal Just, tail. these are all. Bunches of randoms. Look at these old cowboys. And when I say this, like, it doesn't necessarily mean this stuff doesn't have value. Like a bag of arms and legs. For who? I don't know. Huh. I promise you that has some value. Look. All the hats. Hats and guns. We're going to be doing some, uh, action figure identification Facebook group work. Is that a dumpster? <laughs> Look, big jump can dumpster dive. No, that's a foot locker, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a canteen and mess kit and all kind of stuff in there. Yep. Look, it's got yeah. a little fork. <laughs> that's a mess kit. Another box. What we got? I remember this. Okay, this is a G.I. Joe, I think. Got the astronaut space capsule. Yep, he's got his little life preserver. It little. Well, it is. Yeah, I know it is, but. Or a life jacket, not a preserver. Got some boots. Yep. Got a spacesuit. He's in a recovery mode here, I guess. Mm -hmm. From when he gets back home. From splashdown. Yeah, that's There's cool. Little capsule's got a little chair in there for him. Yeah, we need to get this listed. That looks like a. Uh, Star Wars vehicle almost, huh? Like the, uh, you know, in the, Ewok, in the uh, Return of the Jedi? You know it is, about? yep. Speeder okay. bike. Speeder bike, that's what I meant. Um, some guns and a flipper. Those look generic. Hat. This is something unpunched. Oh, on a... Looks like a little helicopter or something. Okay. Okay, these look like, uh, these are those things where you have the rip cord. This one says blackjack on it. This one is Laker Special. Uh, looks like 1970. Kenner, 1970. That's cool. Worth anything? Don't know. Don't know. Okay, we brought this back with us. We're not exactly sure what's going on here. These are... Like medieval... Britain and uh, Tempo. Yeah, these aren't in great shape. There's some. Uh, Look, this guy broke off. Cowboys. Cowboys and Indigenous Americans. And knights. Knights and some more cowboys back here. Or no, these are uh, like Union soldiers or it something. It says Britain on it. Oh. Okay. Well, why are they wearing cowboy hats? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. So, yeah, we don't know what that is yet. I guess they're just glued down. It looks like something somebody homemade. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Do you know who that so is? So, this, we figured out what this is. This right here is from 1981. They're asking this player. Right here, Joe Sewell. Joe Sewell. 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 To um, autograph a photo for them. And then here, dear Roland, thanks for remembering me sincerely, Joe Sewell. He responds, and I'm assuming he re returned the. Uh... But yeah, that's cool. Well, a five dollar bill. Is it like a something must be special? Silver about. certificate or some kind of thing like that. What? It might be an error or something. I'll have to look it up. It has to be something with it. All right, we have a bunch of. Uh, AT&T. Some cards. Some cards. Here's a uh, 
cover, stamp, cover, whatever, whatever you want to call it. What? What is that? 1848. Hmm. What does that mean? That's the year it was mailed. No way. That's really, really old. Look, it's got a wax seal. Is that legit? Is the seal broken? Yeah. This is legit, like 1848. That's crazy. Oh. Can't read it. It's disappearing ink. Yeah. That is that is pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, all right. That'd be interesting to sell. If you can get it in there. Okay, look, that's a uh, King Griffey Jr. I'm assuming these aren't live autographs. <laughs> uh, Nolan Ryan, Nolan Ryan. Terry Bradshaw. Yeah, Archie Manning. I wonder if that's his rookie card. Walter Payton. No, it's not. Some old cards here, all pro. I bet, I guarantee you these have some value. Especially with this whole card craze going on. Then we have a bunch of nickels. Wait, hang on this. this is. Mean Joe Green. Doug Williams. You won a Super Bowl. Jeff Eisman. Another Doug Williams. Okay. And then here's a bunch of uh, mostly nickels. Mm -hmm. There are some other different coins too. Okay, these are some of the cooler pieces here we wanted to share with y'all. We have, these are both from IHOP, I think. No, I don't, I couldn't find IHOP on this one. Really? Because man, it sure is similar, isn't it? I know, but there's no IHOP anywhere I looked. Major League, okay. It's by the same company. But it's, but it's not branded. Right. Okay, so. The football is IHOP, the baseball is not. Uh, okay, so let's see. We don't, we don't seem to have all the teams. So what it is, they're magnetic. Yeah, you can so move So you can them. move as, you know, for their standings. You know what team's missing on this board, huh? The Reds. I don't see the Reds. Were they called something else back then? Oh, no, they've been called the Red, or Red Legs or something. No, they're There's not the Red Sox. <laughs> yeah, it's all kind of red stuff on there. And now we have more of these football, but I don't see the Saints, which kind of sucks because... That's our local team, of course. See just about everybody else. So I thought those are neat. I think they'll have a little bit of value to them. Oh, there's an A's here. Put that on there. Baseball. Oh, sorry, I don't. I didn't mean to be. But you were. <laughs> I didn't mean to be. But you were. All right. This is just a little saltwater fishing accessory kit sealed. Yeah, it's brand new. It's got like a knife, pliers, fingernail clippers, slash line cutter, but rope and line, all kind of in there. All kind of stuff in there. Excuse me. This is a case with some bait in it. That is not sealed. Nope. I don't know. Plano Guide Series. Okay, so that's just somebody's. All right, that's a bunch of rubber stuff. I don't. It's probably not even worth messing with. We can take it fishing. Yeah, we we, we ain't gonna go anywhere where you fish or something quite that big. But this is the size of the stuff we usually catch. <laughs> and more fishing stuff in here. Penny. Lucky penny, heads up. Oh, wait. What? Gold? No? 52 cents. 50 cents. And some more clippers. Okay. Random hook. Look, look at all the hooks. There's a lot of hooks. Oh, this must be you clip on your line so you know when there's a fish on it. You know. Oh, okay. Like, um, what you call these lines? What you just leave in the water? Like we do our yo-yos. Like a trout line or whatever. Yeah. Trout line, whatever you call it. 
Yeah, lots of hooks in here, and I don't know if these this have... This is freshwater stuff. Yeah. Whatever we can't sell. This, this is something like... We might just keep something like this. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's everything that we brought back with us. Hey, is there anything in here in this pocket? I did not look. I didn't look either. Yes, no, maybe. $10,000? Man, that'd be crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. If we found ten thousand dollars, we'd we'd probably split it with our guy, huh? Yeah, for at least. Yeah, because I mean, and if I was buying from a complete stranger or something, I I don't know. The game would change a little bit, but guy is somebody we do business with a lot. So if anything like that ever cropped up or found like a a bar of gold that he didn't know about. We'd have to make it right because, yeah, you, know, you just have to. Because he's our guy. <laughs> All right, that's everything. We just want a little change of pace here uh, from the normal video and uh, have a look see and have fun with y'all. So hopefully, y'all enjoyed uh, going through all this stuff. We always enjoy that. That's fun. And we'll eventually get all this stuff listed. It might be a while. But. That is going to be it for this time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye, y'all. Bye.